This is an HP 360X that has the Intel Ultra chip in it with NPU capability. And uh, we're gonna unbox it here. And uh, we're also gonna upgrade it to a two terabyte NVMe M.2 SSD. Unfortunately, when we opened it up, we found out that you can't upgrade the RAM, but that's not a big deal. Uh, this customer doesn't need RAM, but they do need storage. So we're gonna get it upgraded after we set it up a little bit and get BitLocker removed and we're gonna clone the drive. And I'm not gonna show all the cloning, I'm just gonna show you how to replace it. So here it is, this beauty, it looks crisp. And uh, well, here's the model number for you guys to see. And uh, we're gonna just remove the four T5 screws on the back. It's nice to know that there's no hidden screws underneath the rubber pad. You wanna grab a metal pry tool and pry your edge right here. And then you'll hear a little snap and there's gonna be little snaps all around. You have to work your tool all the way around. It's really hard to get off. Once you get it fully off, then you can pull on it and just kind of rip it off. But I did have a little technique that I do I'm not going to speed up this part of the video because it is, um, there's so many little brackets. I wanted you guys to hear all the pops and the snaps and everything. So just sit here and enjoy it. You're going to have to work your edge on the top part of it. And then um, I do recommend laying it down flat and then you're able to get your tool underneath. And then once you get this last corner off, you'll be able to pull it off and just lift it off. There's no screws holding it down, just like so. Voila, this is what it looks like inside the computer. And there is no room to upgrade RAM, but RAM doesn't really need to be upgraded for certain types of people. So that's what this computer is directed towards. All right, so we're just gonna disconnect the battery with a plastic spudger. And to disconnect the battery, you'll have to push on this little edge. And there's a little edge on the other side and just kind of work your way out. And I kept missing and it kept sliding off on me. So just be very careful while you push this out because you don't want to break the battery connection and have to do a soldering job. So this is it right here. So this video isn't like most of my other videos. I don't do a lot of videos on Windows computers just because they're not as trendy, but I just wanted to post a couple and just see how they do because I am running out of repairs that I haven't done on the uh, Windows or on the Apple side. Anyways, we're gonna get the NVMe removed. It's a PH000 screw holding down this bracket. And you can't see it here, let me move it. And uh, you remove the PH000 screw from the back of the NVMe. And the bracket wasn't coming out with it, so I picked up my plastic spudger and slid out their one terabyte NVMe. And it's one of these like kind of off-brand types and it's gonna be good that we replace it so then they don't run into future issues. We're gonna replace it with just this crucial two terabyte NVMe SSC. I want to point out that I cloned the hard drive that was in the computer over onto this two terabyte NVMe I'm about to put in. And I kept that out of the video just because it is like a lot of extra steps that I felt like the viewers, you, you as the viewers might not want to watch all that. But if you do, please leave me a comment below in my next video. I'll show all that just to reserve their windows install or if you do this you would have to install windows right afterwards and when you're installing windows with the bootable flash drive you're gonna most likely have to have drivers on the flash drive to install it properly and uh, just for the nvme to be recognized I also cloned the hard drive over to keep their Windows activation still activated because they got a new hard drive and I didn't want them to have to pay for a new computer and then also Windows activation. 
So that's one way of keeping the Windows activation. The program I used is called MIDI Tool. And I also uh, removed BitLocker after I set up the computer to make sure I could clone the drive over. And I left all that out of the video. And I apologize for those viewers that might want to see something like that, but just please uh, comment below and let me know some feedback if I should uh, put that in the video. I'm just not quite sure um, how, how well these videos will do of Windows laptop repairs. Uh, um, anyways, I just put this bracket on. It was pretty much a pain to get it on and um, you just want to make sure you get it on secure so it's not like popping off and uh, hitting the back cover and making noises while you move it around and stuff. Connect the battery and turn it on. It doesn't turn on right away so maybe it needs to be plugged in while it's turning on and uh, it really gave me a hard time and it wasn't turning on it seemed like and i was really stressed out but it's actually it's just resetting the cmos battery when you unplug the battery so it takes a while to turn back on and just give it time when you're turning it back on it's not broken it just takes a while Smash that enter button it worked it just needed to be restarted it's a good time to put in your bootable flash drive with windows on it before it turns on and then it should just boot up to it. But I had Windows cloned, so it just booted up to Windows right away for me and it worked, it was worth it. And I just wanted to let you know to smash that subscribe button and check out my other videos.